Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 31 of the Adobe Animate tutorial series. Today we're going to learn about what onion skinning uh, works like inside of Adobe Animate. So uh, onion skinning is, uh, is a reference frame for frame by frame animation. For example, if I were to draw something uh, with a pen tool right here, this pencil tool right here, let me just draw something out here. Now if I were to insert a keyframe over here, insert a blank frame over here, so I can draw something else over here and again insert a blank keyframe, draw something over here, uh, insert a blank keyframe and draw something over here. So I have a sort of an animation over there as you can see. But if you don't have a reference image then it is actually hard for you to uh, guess like what frame uh, you are working on with. So in that case what we do is we turn on onion skinning. So I'm going to remove all of these frames right here. So I'm going to remove all of these frames. So remove frames right here. Let me just increase the size of the pencil tool over there so that you can see the image more clearly. All right. So increase the stroke size. All right. That's more like it. And erase all of these out. And I also want to change the color of the stroke. So let me change it to something like red, which is much more visible. All right. So I have something like this. And if I want to Draw, uh, draw my animation, add in a second frame, just like in a traditional animation, then I'm going to insert a blank keyframe. And you can see that the first frame is visible, but the second frame is invisible. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on onion skinning. So the way to turn on onion skinning is by clicking on this icon right here, and that's onion skinning. So that you can see that on my first frame, what you have over here, uh, uh, what you have over here is the original frame and over here is the reference frame. So what I can do is I can draw on top of this frame right here so that I can have a sort of an animation. So I'm going to insert a blank keyframe right here and draw just like this. Control Z. Draw just like this on top of it so that I have a sort of an animation. Uh, insert a blank keyframe again and draw just like this. Insert a blank keyframe again over here. Insert a blank keyframe draw on top of it and insert a blank keyframe over here as well and draw on top of it insert a blank keyframe over here and you can see that i have my reference images just like this so what the reference image uh, makes us enable to do is that it'll actually help us uh, make the a second frame uh, with guidance so that uh, i have a proper animation so if i were to play this you can see that i have this sort of an animation over here so you can see that the frames are much more aligned uh, than when we had previous animation. So right now what you can see is you can see two onion skins. So the frame before that is in a darker purple shade and the frame, frame, frame before that, the two frames before that is in a uh, soft purple shade over here. But if I were to increase the size over here, you can see that I can see all of the onion skin just like that. So you can see that onion skin actually helps you to uh, create much more better animations. So you can see that onion skin works quite well and you can see that the previous frame animation is there. So let me just preview this and the onion skinning effect only um, is there in the main, uh, off, main window right here. You do not see that in the uh, final animation. So if I were to test the scene just like this, you can see that my animation is there, but my uh, but my main uh, uh, onion skin is not shown. So it is only for the creator's mode. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.